Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I gotta be careful in this video. <laughs> this isn't a comic, this is a landmine. Uh, so I used to do uh, movie reviews and TV show reviews, and my opinion was very unpopular. People who liked my opinion on comics hated my opinion on TVs and, and movies. And I just thought it was like a cute gag. But then I noticed that seriously, on a lot of my movie reviews, I'd lose like 500 subs, a thousand subs. And I was so confused. I was like, I don't, I don't understand. I just, we just have a difference of opinion. I don't understand why people are punishing me for just liking a movie that they don't like. But I'm not Axel Alonzo Marvel. I'm not Tom Brevoort. I'm not Heather Antos. Uh, when the fans don't like something, I want to know why. I not only do I want to stop doing what they don't like, I want to understand why they got so angry. So I, I, I mentioned a video, I go, I don't understand why I lose subs. And so a lot of people, uh, or several people, they took time to email me or DM and they said, it's because you're coming off as a hypocrite. You always talk bad about SJW stuff and you're very on the ball about attacking in comics, but then you see a movie with uh, rampant, in their opinion, SJWism, and you don't call it out like what the hell so i was like okay thanks for explaining that makes a lot of sense to me um so on the flip side when you get a book that was basically designed specifically for me <laughs> when you get a book that was basically like someone listened to like three months of my videos and go okay okay we're sick of this guy just the next pitch that comes in that meets his criteria approve it so this is Port of, Port of Earth, and several people ask me, hey, this is not SJW. Hey, are you going to review this? I think you'd like it. And here's the deal. I am really going to like the movie of this, and I think I am going to enjoy the trade paper book. I'm going probably back to Texas next month, and uh, the, the libraries in the Austin area are, like, fantastic for graphic novels. They basically get, like, every major graphic novel from uh, Image... DC and uh, Marvel, like almost every single one. Um, here's the big problem right here. Zoom in as close as I can. $3.99. <laughs> yeah. If this was a $1.99, it would have been a hearty thumbs up. If it was a $2.99, I would have said, eh, buy it or wait for the trade. $3.99, I really can't recommend it to anyone. But I'm telling you, I think I'm going to like the trade. This is a good idea. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So the, the concept is Port of Earth. The idea is we've had first contact with aliens, except for they're, they're not an empire. They're a business consortium, and they just want Earth as a port. Uh, I think so ships can like go down, fuel, get repairs, a little bit of rest, and then get back on a space voyage. Um, so uh, the Port of Earth is kind of, it's more, it's kind of like Space Border Patrol or Space Customs. It's about... Um, uh, the guys who have to go track down aliens when they land in the port and they escape. Because in this one, you're not supposed to leave the port. You're supposed to, the aliens are supposed to just stay on the port. It's kind of like when you have like a layover. Um, so we got here and uh, uh, we see this. Who's the, who's the writer? Zach Kaplan. Yeah, boy. Andrea Muti, Vladimir Popov. So we got... We got two things I like, the word Zach and somebody Russian, and then we got the word mutt, so I'm like, eh, uh, uh. I feel like I've seen this Andrea Muti somewhere else. I'm not sure where else. I liked the style. It's a very, very indie style. It's not a style I would ever want to see on Marvel or DC book, but for Image or Dark Horse or IDW, yeah, very good. So here's what's good. This is issue two, and yet I was not lost because on issue one, which is kind of a waste of space and kind of not... It's a very kind of like uh, gas cloud, uh, pretty version of space, which is mostly just empty space. That's why they call it space. Um, but they explain what I just already told you about. It was a consortium. And then we see um, uh, the lead. Okay, this is a little SJW, but I'm going to let it pass because you're, you're, you're going to see why. So they got the evil white guy, and he's not just white. He's white-haired and pale of skin, and he's talking to the brown-skinned sister. Yeah, pretty light skin too. There's a desaturated, uh, uh, almost monochrome uh, coloring style, which again is I like. So that's one of those things when I was kind of like, mm, I was like, dude, people are going to roast the hell out of you for not liking something. Your last two books have been monochrome. They color something monochrome and you don't like it. So basically they say, um, this is what was cool. They actually name actual 
organizations and agencies. So they name like the ACLU. Uh, it was on this um, Exxon, Halliburton, Boeing, Tesla. They basically say there was negotiations for this port, but uh, human rights groups were cut out. And it sounds like most of the governments were cut out. They just went straight to the, the space consortium, went straight to Earth businesses, and they cut a deal. So then they're basically saying, uh, what happens when they escape? That's what this should have been called, escape. E-X-S-C-A-P. And the X are for like... Uh, uh, X, it, the, the X is for, for like exo beans, you know, uh, that's their word for aliens. And we get Will Smith in here and it's like, it's like men in black meets men in black too. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, they're talking about what happens when they escape. And, uh, he's basically like the deal protects us all. It sounds like, and this is one of the things I really liked about this writing. Yeah, sometimes I, I like start a video. It's like, this is good. And then I talk myself out of it. This one, it's like, I don't know if I'd recommend it. And I'm talking myself into it. I, I like this stuff. It's good. You know, uh, they give the, I forget what they call this when they give this. I think these are called like minutes, degrees and minutes. It's when you're giving like an exact spot on the earth. Um, but uh, there's subtlety to this. There is a little bit of politics, but I don't know which way the author goes. They're basically, they're subtly doing things with like maybe like the refugee, aka economic uh, refugee slash economic migrant crisis in Europe. Uh, they're doing things with the wall in America. The, um, uh, but it's subtle and it's good. It's, it's mainly just like a, a bug hunt, as they'd say in Starship Troopers. So uh, one of the bugs has escaped. And then they send these two guys in here. And this is where I said, I was like, man, I'm about to be fried if I don't recommend this. Because what do we get? We get two square-jawed white guys with guns and cool-looking suits. It's literally like they watched like 20 of my videos and said, okay, just give this effort, Emmer Effer what he wants. Um, uh, and they're, they're doing something while also letting you uh, get up to speed on their world. Here's the problem. These guys are just kind of boring. <laughs> I, that's okay. So it just took me seven minutes to get to the point. I like this story. I think when this is made into a movie, they will uh, make the leads more interesting and I will like it a lot more. The, the This idea of a port where uh, aliens are quarantined, uh, but if they escape, uh, these uh, guys in the cool suits have to go hunt them down. That's cool. You can get a good movie out of that. You can get a good movie series. You can get a good tv show out of it so they catch the alien and uh they get into a fight and the fight is uh pretty okay i kept thinking about district nine like over and over and over again district nine and chappy this is like made for neil blanc comp however you say that to uh adapt it and make it a whole lot better there's nothing egregiously wrong with it i just feel this reminded me about a lot of my pitches that i end up dropping like i did this pitch for something called pacifica which is a really good idea, and that's other, that's other people say it, but I don't have any characters. Like, there's no, like, arc for any person. It's just a story. Um, uh, so that's one of the reasons I kind of really haven't really developed it. So th they get out into the city, they're chasing it, and a um, little twist and uh but they set up for the next uh, issue, and I'm just kind of like, ah, this is so weird. So then they give a little... Um, Actually, I read this from back to front. I always, when I buy a comic, I go to the back first. So they give this little thing. Uh, Earth Security Agency. Warning. Alien visitors may not understand human forms of communication. Do not interact with them. It may lead to deadly situations. If you see an alien, respect their rights and contact the ESA for their safe return to port. So this is where, like, the subtle stuff about, like, the things in Europe right now is where part of this... Um, uh, agreement between the aliens and the humans which looks like it was probably made under duress um as like uh you guys better negotiate or we're gonna blow up your planet whatever um they've given aliens the same legal status as humans um which uh you know if you're like oh man i understand but it's like literally it's it's it, i i read about this a lot of people in europe they're like why did my family get killed by this guy who claimed to be a student who had a bald spot was obviously in his thirties. And then he ended up like raping two girls and then like killing one of them. It's like, why was this guy ever in there? And also why is he given the same rights as 
my dead daughter and other citizens. So uh, then actually a lot of my job is doing stuff like this, like reviewing these like kind of long lists of instructions and, and writing them. So I was actually kind of, this might be boring to people. I thought it was interesting. And it's the engagement protocols uh, if you encounter an alien. And it really hammers home that the aliens are given the same uh, rights as as a human, which I would be bothered with. Um, and we get this stuff about their suits. I thought, you know, just they're resistant suits. Uh, get a kind of cool vehicle. <laughs> three white dudes. When's the last time you saw a book that had three white dudes as the lead characters? The problem is they're not really three interesting white dudes. Ah, this one's kind of okay. McIntyre. Uh, this other guy, is just, he's a super bore. Um, and this guy was barely in it. Um, <laughs> but um, overall, like I said, it's... Uh, I've, I've, I've had people saying they really like it. If you like it, continue liking it. Like I said, this is an interesting idea. This is the idea, if someone would have said like, hey, we like, uh, we really like Iron Sights. We think you'd be good for co-writing with this guy or um, he's a creator, but you're gonna, I would like to write a story set in this universe. It's an interesting universe. It's gonna make a good TV show or movie. I am not gonna pay Three ninety nine per issue for this. Now, I know it's kind of a moot point since this, the channel subsidizes my purchases, but it's like, no, nah, bro, no. Nah. <laughs> if you want three ninety nine for uh, just a single issue floppy, a lot of stuff's gonna happen into it, and it's gonna have some really good art. This was good art. I was just fine. If this person wanted to draw any of my ideas, I'd I'd definitely be excited. the The art was good. It's definitely indie. It's not full mainstream. Um, but I was very happy with it, but <sighs> you need some kind of twist or or something or some more interesting characters or something. Yeah. But anyway, it's a good, it's a good idea. It's, I respect this book. <laughs> it's so weird. This is so weird. It feels like it's like, I'm like, uh, having to explain why I had a good date, but I'm not going to call you back. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give it to the Super Chat and the Patreon. You're funding original content. I'm working on Iron Sights every day, and I'll have uh, more videos up later tonight. Thanks. Bye.